Hi, this is Blushing, answering your questions from the one 877 hotline. They describe your music as shoegaze, but every video I see, you guys are looking at the camera. Can you explain? Um, okay, so I think you should revisit our music videos, because um, <laughs> no way. I don't think he looks at the camera one time. That's so. true. That's, That's true. true. He looks down a lot, um, and not to spoil the movie magic, but um, I'm not actually playing in our music videos, <laughs> and my pedal board isn't even plugged in, so I'm just vibing with the camera. Yeah, these are the real secrets. Yeah, I have a question. Um, you know, I take my shoes to get repaired uh, to Cobbler, uh, not too far from me, maybe about five or six miles away. And I'm just wondering, well, it's never been discussed, and he's a great fellow, but am I supposed to tip him? Do you tip a cobbler? I don't know. And if you guys uh, have the answer, that would be fantastic. I would really love to know. Uh, and on a different note, I really appreciate the, uh, the, um, the quality of this answering machine message. It's just fantastic. It reminds me of uh, calling Ticketron in the early 90s. Uh, in the, trying to get tickets for concerts. Uh, so bravo on that retro vibe. But yeah, just let me know. Can you, uh, should you tip a cobbler? I, I, is it insulting if you do? Is it insulting if you don't? <sighs> I just don't know. So hopefully you can answer that. Thanks anyways. Have a great day. <laughs> if I had a penny for everyone that asked me that. Yeah, well, we are the cobbler authorities. <laughs> um, you know what I would do? I think that I would not tip your cobbler, but um, I would leave them a really generous Christmas bonus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. A Christmas bonus? <laughs> well, yeah, and just give them some extra cash around Christmas time, and then it's a the, you know, big thank you mm. for the year. Because if you start tipping, then what if mm -hmm. they start expecting? I mean, I know I did yeah. when I worked in the service industry, so, you know, yeah. that's that's what I would do. I, I like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go the, well, see, when you stare at your shoes as much as we do, you really don't have a need for cobbler services, um, but I, I think that you should tip your cobbler because um, I've heard that their children do not have shoes, and so I think that they need the tip, but just look that up. Um, and also, um, if you're mentioning Ticketron, I would suggest that it's probably time to book your colonoscopy. Hey Blushing, everybody says that being in a band is like being married to your bandmates, but you are two married couples who are all bandmates. I'm curious how you manage to give each other the necessary space and how you manage inevitable conflict while you're hanging out on the road and you don't have a lot of uh, space in the van or whatever. Thanks so much, big fan. Looking forward to the new record so much. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, there is not a lot of space in the van. <laughs> um, it is pretty close quarters, so sometimes when we get to a venue, we just, all four of us split up and go in our separate directions. Um, and if there is a little uh, marriage conflict going on, Michelle and I just, uh, you know, tell them to beat it for the night and we just go hang out and have girl time. And, um, you know, over a drink. <laughs> <laughs> we just escaped the boys, honestly. Hello, Blushing! 
Long time listener, first time caller. I'm Daniel. My question is, who designed your Peak Design t-shirt? It's really cool. Thanks. Thank you, Daniel. Um, we think it's really cool too. Um, it's, it's, so our drummer, Jake, drew that on his iPad. He's like a huge anime fan um, and he's a really good illustrator and he was just doodling on his iPad one night and I saw the, the sketch and it looked really cool and I was like, I think we should use that for um, a blushing t-shirt. And so he wrote the, the letters and it, it turns out like a lot of people like it and it's one of our most popular designs. <laughs> Yeah, I know that you all uh, love Austin, Texas and everything, but uh, you ever think about relocating to a city with terrible weather like, I don't know, Portland, Oregon? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, <laughs> we don't think about relocating to Portland. It's not on the list of our um, destinations. Michelle, you really like the desert, mm -hmm. actually. Um, so that's pretty much the opposite of what we're into <laughs> weather wise um, yeah um, we are looking forward to visiting them yes um i think like if i moved to portland i would probably get stopped daily by people thinking i was carrie brownstein <laughs> so um love carrie but yeah i don't want that kind of drama there can't be life. two carries <laughs> um but we will be uh in portland on july 4th um so if you're free uh, and if you live in America, you are. So, um, yeah, July 4th, Portland. We'll be there.